Hello and welcome to ASK News with our news anchors Kayla, Alex, and last but certainly not least, Stephanie. Hello, this is your girl Kayla K. Kay. With ASK News, and I today will be discussing the Jim Crow laws. Stay tuned. Hello, this is Kayla with ASK News, and I today will be discussing the Jim Crow laws. <laughs> Thomas D. Rice, a white actor, was the star of the Jim Crow laws. He would use his fame so people could follow his league and do shows insulting African Americans by wearing something called blackface. His doings slowly caused separation widespread throughout the entire southern parts of America that later spread throughout the entire USA. Even if you went into some good parts of some states, there was still racism, but it was just better hidden. And for some of those who don't know, Jim Crow laws are local and state laws that cause racial, racial excuse me, segregation in the southern states of America that caused people to treat African Americans as inhumane as possible. The Jim Crow laws are actually factually proven to have started in the Reconstruction era, era during the years of 1877 all the way throughout the beginning of the 1950s. Crow laws were used and followed everywhere he went in places such as restrooms, churches, schools, parks, libraries, buses, restaurants, train stations, stores, drinking fountains, police stations, neighborhoods, and etc. In practice, Jim Crow laws mandated racial segregation in all public facilities in the southern states of America. They supported the U.S. Supreme Court's separate but legal, separate but equal legal doctrine for facilities for African Americans. It was put in place to keep blacks and whites separate at all times. This resulted in various protests around the South until they were repealed. Mm. Now welcoming Stephanie and Alex on discussing Muhammad Ali. Hello, this is Alex and I'm and I'm Stephanie. And we'll be discussing information about the inspired African American man by the name Cassius Clay. I know most of you have no idea who the man is but this is Muhammad Ali. Muhammad changed his name because he didn't want to be called by a slave name. Muhammad Ali is a famous professional boxer and social activist of the 20th century. He was born on January 17, 1942 in Louisville, Kentucky and died June 3, 2016. When growing up as a small child he was segregated everywhere he went because of his color. So he began to fight protect himself at the age of 12. Throughout his years, he did amazing things in boxing and helping people. Muhammad was the first to win three championships on three different occasions. Also, he went to the Olympics in, in Rome in the 1960s and won the gold medal in boxing. During his career, he had many great fights, so here are some throughout his career. May 25th, 1965 was his first round match. Knockout against Sonny Liston. April 29, 1967, he refused to enlist in the Army, so he was stripped of his championship. And was October 1970, he was allowed to return to boxing. March 31, 1973, he fought Ken Norton in the second round, and Muhammad broke Norton's jaw. After retiring June 27, 1979, Muhammad did amazing things to help people. He would travel across continents and deliver food and visit soup, soup kitchens and hospitals. Also, he was chosen to light the Olympic flame 
at the start of the of the games of the 2007 Olympic Olympiad in Atlanta, Georgia. By doing this, he received goodwill of his appearance, which confirmed his status as one of the most beloved athletes in the world. Another thing is, Muhammad found out that he had Parkinson's syndrome. Parkinson's syndrome is caused is caused by a damage to the brain by blows to the head, which resulted in slurred speech and slurred method. This is ASK News with Kayla, Alex, and Shavni, and we'll see you tomorrow with another amazing topic. Have a great day. Hello, I'm Alex. And I'm Stephanie. And we'll be discussing information about the inspired African American man by the name Clash. <laughs> Start over. Just. <sighs> he said by the name of Clash. <laughs> Guys. It's okay. I did that so well. It's still going. Yeah, I know. Can you see where you're supposed to be? No. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> yeah, right there. Okay, right there. Hello, I'm Alex. And I'm Stephanie. And we'll be discussing information about the inspiring African American man by the name. So, <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> just go, just go. Cassius Clay. And then insert picture. Good. <laughs> we. we